What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle and today I'm going to be reviewing some Believe Beauty makeup. I've never tried this brand before but it's an exclusive brand to the Dollar General and everything is like $5 and under so I'm like yes, hello. I like that. Beauty on a budget? Who doesn't love that? I do. <laughs> but um... Yeah, so I just picked up a handful of things. I just got like the primer, foundation, the concealer, um, a highlighter, and a liquid lip. Um, I really like everything so far, but make sure you check the description box below because I will have everything that I've used today on my face because, of course, not everything is Believe Beauty. So I will have everything listed below and I will also give you like my final thoughts on how it wore throughout the day and everything. So if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe and ring the notification bell so that way you're notified every time I do an upload. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna start with the Believe Beauty Pretty and Primed Hydrating Primer. I've watched a couple people do uh, reviews on the Believe Beauty, and this primer comes out blue. Um, so I figured I would just give it a try. I mean, it's Dollar General, and everything is $5 and under, so you can't beat that. Beauty on a budget. I love that. <laughs> It does feel really nice and hydrating. And now I'm going to use the Believe Beauty Foundation. Now it says that this is skin finish foundation and it's medium to full coverage, which I love. I love me a full coverage. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. Um, This is in the shade Warm Vanilla. I hope it matches. But you know I'm not that great at picking out my shade anyway. I can look at it and be like, I don't know if that's my shade or not. But we'll make it work. We always do. This is the first time I'm trying this foundation, so... Um, it is a skin like finish. I would say yeah, it's medium coverage. Um, I might build it up. Let's try to build it up a little bit and see. So it builds up nicely. I like it. Yeah, I like this a lot actually. I mean, for five bucks, you can't beat it. I mean, I had to try it. I was like, five dollars, I have to try it. And it's in a glass bottle. I mean, you cannot beat that for five bucks. Some of the high-end ones that you get don't come in glass bottles. So yeah, I like that. But today, I only, like, I only have five products from Believe Beauty. I got the primer, the foundation, the concealer. I got a liquid lip and I got a highlighter. I figured I would just uh, grab a handful of stuff, try it out, and if I like it, I'll go back and get the rest of the stuff that I need to do like a full face of Believe Beauty. But I am liking the foundation so far and that primer seems to be working well with it. And since I don't have like the whole collection of Believe Beauty, I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Um, bite size brow in dark brown for my eyebrows. I'm gonna keep everything drugstore, affordable, beauty on a budget. I love all that stuff. And I'm just going to line my brows. And fill them in. Okay. 
Okay, so now that I have my brows done, I'm going to go into the concealer. And this is just Believe Beauty, your covered liquid concealer in the shade Light Beige. This is what the applicator looks like. I hope this is good because you guys know that my favorite concealer is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer so hopefully this one works really well I just have a problem with concealers like finding one that doesn't crease in my fine lines underneath my eyes And then for um, cream bronzer and blush, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Electric Mood Palette. And I'm going to be using this shade. I'm not sure for the blush yet which one I'm using. Probably the lighter one. And I'm just going to use an e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush for the bronzer. And I'm just going to use that lighter shade right there for my blush today. I'm telling you guys, like, Elf knocks it out of the park when it comes to um, any kind of cream bronzers. Like, they just blend into your skin so nicely. And their blushes do as well. Okay, well, I got a setting powder for underneath my eyes, and I love the e.l.f. Halo Glow. That is the only one that I ever use underneath my eyes because it doesn't make my under eye look really dry and crepey once I set my makeup. Like, I hate that. I hate when powders make it look, like, extra dry under there. That's why I really like the Halo Glow, but we're going to give this one a try today and see what I think. And this is in the shade light, yeah, light medium. And I'm just gonna take my damp uh, sponge and press a little bit of powder underneath. I'm also going to use it to set my T-zone. Um, it's actually not looking too bad underneath my eyes, but we'll see as the day goes on how it how it looks. But so far, so good. I like it. Okay, and then I'm going to go into my eyes now, and I'm going to use the e.l.f. Uh, Shadow Lock, I think it's called, but it's just the eyeshadow primer. Put this on, and then I'm going to blend it out with a brush. And then for eyeshadows today, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. And these were in their Mint Melt collection. Uh, this top one is called Mint to Be. And this one in the bottom is Chocolate Mint. They're both really beautiful. I wish it wasn't just like a collection that they did. I wish they would keep these shades because I am not a person to wear green eyeshadow. 
but these greens are really pretty. They are beautiful. And I'm gonna start with uh, this shade right here for my transition shade. And I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, which this is my favorite, and I'm just gonna put that in my crease, or right above my crease actually, and blend it out. And then I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to use this shade right here, which is that really light shade. And this, uh, both of those colors were out of the chocolate mint palette. I'm just going to put that on the inner part of my lid. I think for my outer crease, I'm going to use that dark green out of the other palette. I do like to build this color up quite a bit. Just because it's such a pretty shade green and I don't ever use green so I'm like I like this one a lot though then I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna use this dark green right here and this is out of the meant to be palette I don't think I've used this shade yet And then I think I'm gonna go back with the shade and just blend out a little bit more. So I'm just gonna put it like right on top of the screen and just blend out. Kind of meshing the colors together. And then for my bottom lash line, I'm gonna go into the dark green first. I might do a little bit of that shimmer on top. And then I'm gonna go back with this uh, light green shade and put it over top of that dark green underneath of my eye. And then for the inner corner and brow bone, I'm gonna use this color right here, that cream shade. And for eyeliner, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Um, it is the No Budge Retractable Eyeliner in Black. I love this eyeliner, it is really black. The color payoff is awesome. Okay, so now that I have my eyes done, I'm gonna use powder bronzer and I'm gonna use this one from e.l.f. This is what it looks like. The shade isn't on the back of here. I wanna say it's Fiji, but I'm not 100% sure. And I'm just going to bronze up the skin And I'm also gonna use that blush out of that palette because I do have a highlighter from Believe Beauty that we're gonna be using.
And this is the highlighter that I picked up. I like it a lot because it has a like a white shade in here, a pinky shade, and a bronze shade, if I can get it open, or like a golden shade. So those are the colors. And this is called On Cloud 9. So I hope these are good. And then I'm going to, if I can find my brush, where did you go? There you are. You know, my weird brush that I love for highlighter that's supposed to be for foundation. We're using that today. And I think I'm going to go in with this uh, white shade right here. It's kind of like a white golden shade. Oh, wow. That is pretty. Yeah, it comes off more golden. That is pretty, though. I like that a lot and it builds up like quick I barely tap my brush in here this is a this is a good highlighter you guys I like that yeah it looks good and then for my all-over powder I'm gonna be using the Revlon age-defying powder and this is in the shade medium deep I like to do this just to blend everything together And now for my brows, I'm going to go into the e.l.f. Wow Brow. This is my favorite. It's in shade Dark Brown. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the Essence Lash Princess. Okay, so now I'm going to go into lips and I'm going to use the uh, Retro Paradise uh, Brown Liner. It was a collection that e.l.f. had. It's a really nice lip liner. It goes on really creamy and everything. So now I'm going to go in with the Believe Beauty, and this is the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Charmed. I just liked it because it was a nude color, and that's my favorite. Not too crazy on pinks or reds. Like, I cannot do red. I ain't found a red yet that I can wear and that I don't feel like I look crazy in. So, yeah, I'm more of your neutral type of gal. It does feel very smooth on the lips. Oh, I like that color. I think that's a good color. I still want to top it with the gloss though because I just like to use a lip gloss. Hmm. Should I or should I not? I think I will. I think I will and I think I'm going to use... um. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's do the Mints um, Melt Again <laughs> collection. And this one is in Mint Chocolate. But Believe Beauty does have like glosses and things like that. So like I said, um, we'll see how this wears today. And um, don't forget to check the description box below because I'm going to have everything um, listed below that I've used in my video today. But we'll see how uh, this wears. And if I like it, I'm going to go back and get some more things that we can actually do like a full face of Believe Beauty and see how it works. 
But uh, for setting spray, I'm going to be using the Make It Last Milani because you already know that's my favorite. I love this setting spray. I mean, really, with this setting spray, you can be so, like, heavy-handed. Your face is soaking wet and, like, everything just stays in place, locks it in. Oh, it's my favorite part of doing makeup is setting spray. I love it. Especially after you put all these powders and things on, your face will so dry. Okay, you guys, so that is the completed look. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Have you tried Believe Beauty? I've never tried it before. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever tried it. So let me know down in the comments. Okay, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.